how do you become British? Had you ever done an English accent before? What do you do? They teach you to place your tongue in a different place. What is it? A lot of it, like you have to have an ear. Some people can hear stuff. Some people can't. Right. Um, they make it a very physical thing, and they describe what your tongue does. How how um, open your mouth has to be. Like when I speak, I barely open my mouth, if, and like everything is all right. like at the back of my throat. I'm from LA. This is how I talk. Whatever. When she speaks, right. it's open. I mean, just I have to literally like I look like a completely different person in trying to make that sound. Um, so yeah, you, yeah, you just off. went into it. Now, do you have to start walking around like five, six hours a day with your mouth open, like kind of getting it? I felt like the way to really do her justice was to be so present and spontaneous. Cause like this woman to me in, in everything that I've seen of her is so like live wire. She feels a little bit spooky. Like she walks into a room and you just don't know what's going to happen. It feels precarious and like fucking wild. The script was written so precisely and perfectly. I didn't ad lib anything. I learned my lines exactly. I worked on the accent with my coach. I just sort of relied on him to tell me if I was, you know, doing something totally wrong, but it was there like uh, six months wow. to work on it. And then, yeah, I was just sort of living so in it. Why? So if you had that confidence, how come when you go to the set, you get so fucking tight that your jaw starts to lock up? And uh, I read about this, and this is a this is a definite psychological thing. Oh yeah, I think I wasn't considering the stress because I was pushing it away. Mm. I, I always fun I used to use anxiety as like motivation, or I used to be like, oh yeah, I need to like torture myself on this movie and make it really real. And right. now I function so much more purely and honestly if I'm feeling safe. And so I I think I was like designing this world in which I wasn't afraid but my body knew better. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I get it. two weeks before the movie, I literally couldn't open my mouth. I had such horrible TMJ and I was like using like hot compresses and having like, I was just like rubbing my jaw all day. And, and the day that we started shooting, it just opened up. I wasn't even fixated on my jaw. I was just sort of like so swept up in the experience. I just sort of knew it was going to work out. It was just like, at some point my mouth will open. It has to, it has to. And if not, they'll fucking push a week and we'll figure it out. 